Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for unboxing and review. Uh, this is a pen that uh, I purchased at the London Pen Show in October uh, 2024. It's a Gilbert House Pens uh, handmade in Cambridge, you can see here. Now, there's a little bit of a backstory. Uh, I saw for the very first time uh, Brad Harrington from Gilbert House Pens going to the March Pen Show in 24. And... I actually said on, on a Zoom a few hours beforehand that I saw some of his hybrid uh, resin and wood pens, uh, burl pens, and I wanted to probably get maybe four of them. And uh, unfortunately, by the time I actually got to his table, because uh, I couldn't locate where he was in the hall, uh, unfortunately, he had sold out of all of the pens that I wanted. So fast forward to the London Pen Show in October 25. Uh, I still took a long time to get to his his table. But when I got there, he did have a, a, a few pens available. So I did buy a couple. And this is one of them. So I think let's uh, lift the lid on this box. I do like this presentation. I do like this uh, gold sort of like gilding going on here. Uh, I think this is a very nice touch. Uh, I also like that it's a minimalistic box as well. So you can dispose of it in recycling. You have this little bit here. And uh, then you have the pen in a pen sleeve. And then you have uh, two stickers here and also uh, Brad's uh, card as well. So I'll just show that up close. So Gilbert House Pens, Brad Harrington, and there's his mobile number and his website. So I'll just remove the box and uh, I'll take the pen out of its sleeve. So this is one of the two pens that I purchased. I purchased one in blue and one in a, a little bit more of a greenish sort of tealy color. Um, I'm not normally into teal. Uh, there was a red version, which was nice, a purple one, but I found that both the red and the purple were a little bit more dark uh, in color and didn't quite stand out as much. But these pens are made very well uh, from Brad. Uh, you have this lovely sort of like uh, I believe it's Burlwood, but I might be mistaken. I'm not great in, in the the wood uh, names, unfortunately. But this is a hybrid pen. So you've got the wood here, and then you've got the resin uh, on the cap, and then also on the body, and then it merges again with this, this wood, which, like I said, I believe is Burl. Uh, this really is polished to a, a, a lovely standard. Uh, and the pen is made really, really well. I do like the look of these pens. Typically, I'm not into wood pens, mostly because a lot of the wood pens that I see are either kit pens, which turn me off, or the wood is a more natural looking wood uh, and not uh, sort of um, glossed over. It doesn't have a, a shiny sort of protective coating. Uh, and I prefer the shiny protective coating on this. So for me, this is a really, really nice pen. Uh, glad that I picked this one up. Uh, Brad sells these for, uh, I think it was £125 on his table at the London Pen Show. Uh, I haven't checked his website since to see uh, what they are. But these normally sell pretty quickly. He does a resin section as well. It's got a little bit of a concaveness here which again is what I like in a pen. I like uh, my Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, because I find that that allows your finger and thumb to just rest there and not traverse down onto the nib. Now, um, one of these came with a Bok nib and one with a Yovo nib. I believe this is the Yovo nib uh, that, that screwed in just with an ABS plastic feed. It definitely looks like a Yovo feed to me. Uh, and if I unscrew the body here, you'll see the converter there. I've got a green ink uh, inked up in, in this pen. Uh, but this is a really, really nice looking pen. And it kind of makes me want to get more from Brad. Uh, there, there are other custom pen makers in the UK. Um, there's Silver Bell Pens, John Sanderson as well, that makes some of these. Uh, I think Ritter's Writers also. Uh, make some as well from what I recall uh, but uh, 
there are various types of wood that you can get here. Uh, and, and the burl is really the one that sort of speaks to me a little bit more. You get these sort of little spots in the wood and little patterns. Uh, very, very nice. Now, can you post the cat? No, it's it's not designed to be posted, but that's fine. I'm not a cat poster. Uh, but I do like this. There's a lot of chatoyants here. Uh, this is, is quite a nice sort of green uh, or tealy colour there, but you can just see that that really does look nice on camera and is polished to a very high standard there as well. You can see my studio lights shining off of that with a reflection there. So this really is, is a beautiful pen. I've been writing with this pen quite a bit uh, since coming back from the pen show, and I am loving this. So uh, I can definitely see myself picking up some more pens in the near future. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen, we are looking at about 148 millimeters in length. The, oh, it's just about to gonna go into roll. Can I stop it from rolling? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's see. There you go. Well, that's a little bit too high there. There you go. Uh, the length of the cap, we are looking about 62 millimeters in length. And then if I take the cap off, and try and balance that there so it doesn't roll because this one definitely wants to roll away uh the length of the body we are looking about 130 i want to say 137 millimeters so uh this is definitely an oversized pen uh you can see in the size of my hand it is a decent size if i'm holding it on the section if i were to hold it up here on the threads uh, it's still a decent size. There is a bit of a step down here. Uh, it's a little bit more pronounced, sort of sharp step down. So you're probably not going to want to hold it on the threads. You're really going to want to hold it on the section. But most people hold it on the section. So I don't think that's going to be uh, an issue there. Uh, it is a very nice pen. Uh, I do like the work that Brad is doing here. Uh, he had some other uh, um, material pens as well, which... I have on the uh, London uh, Pen Show videos, so take a look at those. Uh, they are some very, very good. Uh, I think it was called Fordite uh, pens uh, material, which, which uh, again was very, very nice. A little bit more expensive than than this, at 125 pound, but uh, very, very nice material as well. So it's not just the hybrid pens that look good; it's the those ones as well. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have an Anoto University of Oxford. We have an Anoto, and this is the uh, Charles Dickens Christmas Cow 2022. We have an Atelier Lusso Carina, and this is in the black aluminite. We have uh, an Atelier Lusso Carina, and this is in the diamond nebula. And this is a Gilbert House Pens, and this is the uh, Green Burl Hybrid. We have a Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the Hurricane. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the King Cobra. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda, and this is in the Wyvern Serpent. We have a Tweeko Seishu Dragon in red, and a Tweeko Seishu Dragon in green. So I think let's now do a writing sample. So this is the Gilbert House pens, and it's the uh, green uh, a Burl Highwood hybrid, and it's got a medium, and it's a steel nib. And uh, the ink in here today, I need to just double check what I inked this one up with. This is a KWZ Grass Green.
And then in terms of line variation, we are definitely getting a Western medium out of this steel medium nib. I can push it a little bit more, get a little bit more closer to a board. And then some more vertical lines shows that the nib is fairly well tuned. Uh, in terms of ink wetness, let's take a look. This is a Yovo nib. And I typically find Yovo nibs are not normally that wet. And this certainly isn't that wet. It's uh, a, a decent uh, writing nib, but it's not a fire hose nib. So you're going to be able to write with this in a notebook. Uh, what do I uh, like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, as I mentioned, uh, I've been wanting a, a few of these uh, for the last six months since... I saw uh, Brad Harrington was coming to the London Pen Show in March. I missed out on getting the models that I wanted in March. I could have pre-ordered some or I, I could have asked him to make some, uh, but I didn't. And I waited until October Pen Show and I saw these on this table. Uh, this was one of two and I decided to buy this one. So definitely uh, there's a lot that I like about this pen. I like the wood. I like the resin hybridness of this pen. Uh, I like that it's, uh, he does Bok and steel nibs, uh, this, uh, sorry, Bok and a Yovo steel nib. This is a Yovo steel nib in this one. Uh, the other one I've got a, a Bok nib on. Uh, comes with a cartridge converter. Uh, he also uh, gave me a, um, a couple of bottles of 30mm uh, Diamine ink as well. So uh, I, I think for the price... Uh, that he's he's uh, asking for, which is around £125 at the pen show. It's a really good price. Are there any dislikes about the pen? No, not really. Um, the only thing I would say is wood typically, if not cured properly, can warp, can crack. Um, so that's kind of a reason why I typically stay away from wood pens, because I don't want that to happen. Uh, this has been uh, sort of encasing like a polished lacquer. So I'm hoping that that will probably um, keep the pen from cracking and warping uh, from outside temperatures and humidity. Uh, but that's really the only negative I would say about wood pens is you do have to be a little bit more careful with them. Uh, the environment that they are actually going to be retained in because uh, they can warp and crack if not cured properly. I'm pretty sure that, that Brad cures his, because I know I spoke to him, uh, and he did say that he cures this uh, for quite some time. So uh, I don't think that would be a problem with, with Brad's pens. But uh, just maybe a negative when you're thinking about a wood or wood hybrid pen, um, that's just in the back of my mind. But I like this pen. I like it a lot. I like it that I bought two uh, in, in two slightly different colours. And uh, I honestly will probably buy more. Uh, if, if I see probably another red or a purple, a little bit more lighter red or a little bit more lighter purple to what I saw on his table at the pen show, then I probably will probably look to buy those as well. So there you have it. That's my unboxing and review of the Gilbert House Pens Green Burl Hybrid in a medium steel nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.